Hey there guys, my name is Marquez and in this video I'm going to present you a few alternatives to QuickBooks Online. Now I've been creating uh, content about accounting softwares for a while now and I have like good informations about it so I'm I would be really happy to share it with you. Now I'm not paid by any of the programs that I'm going to show you right now. This is just like my honest video for you so you will know um, some valuable information like what are some actual alternatives to QuickBooks. Without further ado, let's start. Now, the first one that I prepared for you is a uh, Xero. Xero, I would say, is a uh, like I don't want to be harsh, but it's like ugly or blood brother to QuickBooks. It got most of the things that you will uh, get in um, QuickBooks, but it's just like the UX and UI design is a little bit clumsy. I don't know if that's the right word, but I just like much more you using quickbooks because like quickbooks is a top notch like no talk about it it's really effective xero is effective too my recommendation you can actually start a free trial you can test it out by yourself i can really say that xero is better than quickbooks it's just like really good alternative something like quickbooks brother now that's a xero the second one that i prepared for you is a fresh books fresh books let me show you is a great option too that you can use uh, when you would come here to fresh books you can have clients you can have invoices and it's much easier to manage fresh books comparing to quickbooks you come here you just click new invoice you create invoice so for everyone who is just like starting out fresh books is really effective it's not that complex and comprehensive if that's the right word too uh, as quickbooks but it will fulfill what you need to do if you're just like starting business now, Facebooks is really effective and you can simply do the time tracking here, create a project. You can have invoices here, clients, everything is covered. So this is how Facebook works. Now, the next one is a wave. Wave is effective too. Uh, the huge advantage about wave is that it's completely for free. How the wave as a company is making money is that they uh, do the payroll processing and they have also uh, the payment processing so when someone is going to pay for the invoice on wave they will get some cut from it some few percent and now uh, that's pretty good so if you are business or if you're accounting and you don't want to spend any money you can use just like wave and you're good to go uh, they have just like easy sales here most of the things estimates recurring invoices invoices creating invoices really simple purchases bills receive vendors accounting transaction reconciliation chart of accounts you can hire a bookkeeper then you have payroll here you can run a payroll that's all what you can do and using wave is really good if you're just like starting out and i would definitely recommend doing that now the next one i prepared for you is a zoho books zoho books is uh, also really good let's click explore demo account it's really good accounting software. What I like about Zoho is that you can use the whole ecosystem of Zoho with the CRM, inventory, email, with Zoho projects and many more. So I would definitely recommend uh, checking it out if you want to have multiple things only because you're going to save actually money. So what does it mean is that let's say that you are using MailChimp, you are using uh, QuickBooks, then you are using uh, Monday.com for project management and now you would use Zoho for much cheaper price. So when you would come here to Zoho books, again, customers, estimates, etc. pretty straightforward and pretty easy to use. And uh, I would definitely recommend checking it out too. I can really say that it's like better than QuickBooks. It's a good alternative that you can use to QuickBooks if you want to, if you are not satisfied. Um, my, the biggest biggest advantage is the whole ecosystem of Zoho I always say it in every single video when I mention Zoho use Zoho mainly and primarily as a alone software alone software that's a good too but I would definitely use it if you want to connect it with the whole ecosystem now that's how Zoho works you can have the items here sales customers estimates simply click new estimate here invoices new invoice it's really understandable and straightforward how we can use it. Purchases, vendors, expenses, bills, everything, right? 
So this is how Zoho Books works. Then we have the last one and it's a Sage or Sage. I don't know how to read that. Help me down below in the comments. Uh, the biggest difference is that QuickBooks is generally better for small to mid-sized businesses who use bookkeepers. Sage, on the other hand, is typically suited for larger companies with a controller or CFO who need more industry tailored features. So that's a good, com good, good like competition to QuickBoost 2. And if you want, you can use it. Not a bad choice. So you can actually test it out by yourself if you like it. But again, it's for bigger businesses. And uh, as you can see also, like it's pretty cheap and you can have like 70% off for six months, but then it's like pretty expensive. So keep in mind that. So to summarize this whole video, guys, my recommendation, Xero is like the brother, the uglier brother of QuickBooks. Then we have a FreshBooks here. FreshBooks is pretty effective and good. Uh, what you can actually achieve with it. When you come here with uh, creating invoices, expenses, estimates, there are a lot of things that you can do and that you can create. Then we're going to have Wave here. Wave, uh, the huge, huge advantage that it's completely for free. So we can test it out, see it by ourselves that it's actually worth it to use it. So Wave is good too. Then Zoho Project or Zoho CRM. I would definitely uh, recommend like the whole Zoho ecosystem. But yes, you can use it as just like Zoho accounting. It really depends like if you're just small business or if you want to have something else. Now, uh, then we have the Sage as the last one, and this is pretty much it. So if you can have any questions, guys, ask me down in the comments. I hope this video gave, gave you at least some kind of value that you can use for the future. Mm. So yeah, thank you very much and have a great day and goodbye. See ya.